Hello Hollydale Heroes and welcome to Magical Art and Science Monday with Miss Daisy. For today's activity we will be painting some rocks and you can find these rocks anywhere just like your front yard like I'm in right now. Um, any park or a friend's house. Um, just find any rocks that call your name and this rock doesn't really require too many materials but it does allow you to be as creative as you want. So some of the materials that we will be using today are of course the rocks that we find outside, paint brushes, paint, and bowls to put our paint into. It's also optional to use a marker to make an outline for your drawing to help you have some guidance on following lines and things like that, but that's totally optional and you can freehand your painting if you'd like to. So right now I'm just strolling around my front yard trying to find some rocks and luckily this tree here has many different rocks for me to choose from. So you can choose as many rocks as you'd like. Um, and our second step will be washing off some of the dirt. As you can see, obviously they're outside so they can get a little dirty. That one even has an ant on it. Um, so yeah, our next step will be washing the rocks off that we choose. So the next part of our rock painting activity is of course washing our rocks, like I said at the beginning. So we're just going to wash our rocks the same way we wash our hands. <laughs> get them wet and put some soap on them. So our last step for preparing our rocks is just giving them a quick dry and I'm just using a really old towel that I don't mind getting a little bit dirty because there might still be a little bit of dirt on the rocks after we wash them off. You want to try to be as thorough as possible in washing your rocks um, because the um, dirt on it when it dries off again could cause your paint to start flaking off. So please try to scrub as hard as you can on these rocks so that your paint sets as well as it can. So the next part, which is the part we've all been waiting for, is actually painting our rocks. So I got this little palette to separate my paints from Dollar Tree, um, but we will be including bowls in your kits. So that'll be able, um, that'll help you be able to keep your paint separate. But if you want, you can go to Dollar Tree and get one of these palettes as well. Um, we also included some paint in your kit, which will give you a variety of colors if you want to mix them together or just keep the colors the same way. So it's easiest to squirt a little bit of paint into your bowls or your color palette, um, like I said, to keep them separate and keep them from completely mixing in. But please, please, please be careful with how much paint you're using because we will be using these paints in another activity and you don't want to run out and not be able to do the next one. So feel free to, of course, paint as many rocks as you'd like, but just remember that we will again be using paints. So you just don't want to run out or you might have to um, get some more paints on your own. I've been using these paints for a long time, so I'm starting to run out. Um, but yeah, just be mindful of how much paint you're using. Okay, so now that we've got all of our paint set up, it's time to paint on our rocks. And please remember to keep them dry, make sure they are completely dry um, because we don't want our paint to get messed up by painting on the rocks while they're wet. So I chose four rocks because um, my purpose of this painting is that I'm going to paint four rocks with each of my siblings and I's name on them. So I have three siblings and of course myself, which is four people. Um, my mom really likes to keep these rocks um, that are painted in our garden. Sometimes my sister paints rocks and puts them in my mom's garden and she just loves it. So I'm going to be adding these rocks to our collection. Um, just an idea for you all if you'd like to do something, this, uh, something similar. Um, but of course, paint what you want and be as creative as you want to be. So I'm going to start off by just doing a white base on each of these rocks because I want um, 
the rock to be one solid color before I start my designs. Okay, so now that we're done with our base of the rock painting, um, it's time to be patient now and let our first layer dry off. Like I said, you don't have to do a base layer of paint if you don't like to or if you don't want to, um, but it will give your design more of a clean um, and clear image rather than just directly painting on the rock itself. But like I said, whichever you prefer is totally fine. But if you are going to put a base layer, it's time to give it some time to let it dry. So I'll come back and do this design after I touch it and it feels completely dry. Okay, so now that the wait is officially over and my rocks are completely dry, we can actually start painting. So I just wanted to show you all how it looks when you mix colors together. So this one right here is the dark pink mixed with white and over here we have this kind of light orangey color and that is some yellow, some pink, and some white mixed together. Um, over here we have this darkish purple color. It looks darker in person. It's this one back here. And that's the black, the pink, um, and the yellow and also the white mixed together. So I kind of just did a little bit of each and it turned into purple. So feel free to have some fun and mix some paint together to create a whole bunch of different colors. So like I said, um, if you want, you can use a marker or a pen or any writing utensil to kind of guide you um, and give you an idea of what to draw. So I'm going to do that way, but if you want to freestyle it, you totally can. So far here is my first rock. I wanted to do kind of like a sun ray painting for this. Okay, here is my second rock, all painted. Now on to the third. This one was a little bit more simple, a little quicker. I just wanted to do a little ombre effect on this one. And now it's time for the last one. Okay, and this last one is all complete. Just added some squiggly lines on there. So here are all my painted rocks. Um, I'm going to be patient once again and let these designs dry off and then I'm going to go ahead and add my sibling's name to each one, just like I said at the beginning. Okay, so I went ahead and painted the names of my siblings and I on my rocks. I didn't record that part, but I still wanted to show you all the final product of it. So now we have come to the end of our rock painting activity and of course I hope you all had so much fun on this art project and I hope you all let your creativity shine through. 
please post a photo of your rock painting under this video and like this video for a chance to be entered into our drawing for our sun goodie bag. Thank you all for joining me on Magical Art and Science Monday and painting some cool rocks with me. Please remember to join this video again next week and stay tuned for our next activity. See you all next time.